Which is better, an activity feed or a chat room? This video will show you how to avoid the common trap that many Mighty Network hosts fall into when they try and choose. You'll see how to pick the feature that best fits your particular situation. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful with your Mighty Network. Let's start by looking at an activity feed and a chat room in the browser version of a Mighty Network. An activity feed is a series of posts and conversation and comments, visually appealing. You have different formatting and options. You can actually look at it in two different styles. It's often filtered with the, the most recent activity, posting, or comments at the top. This is something similar to what a lot of people see in Facebook or Instagram. They might be used to this type of an interaction. The chat feature in a Mighty Network space is a series of messages, threaded messages, with the most recent one at the bottom, similar to what you might see in Discord or Slack or WhatsApp. Both of these two features support sharing and interaction among your community members. In fact, you can use text, images, share URLs, share GIFs with both of them. So how do you choose? Your first impulse might be to choose whichever form of interaction you're most familiar with or your members are used to using, the activity feed or the chat room. That's not always the best answer. Remember the story about the person who was so excited about their grandmother's pot roast, they just loved it. So they got the recipe from their mom, followed every step to the letter down to cutting the pot roast in two and putting it in two pans in the oven. And then they called grandma to tell them how excited they were to be having the pot roast. And grandma started laughing. Grandma was laughing because the only reason that she ever cut that pot roast into two and cooked it into two pans was because she didn't have a pan big enough to cook the whole pot roast together. Sometimes when you do what has always been done, the reason for the way that it has always been done is no longer relevant. So you need to stop and consider what are the current options and what's going to best fit for you and your needs right now. That's crucial to picking the right feature to create the right kind of engagement that you're looking for in your network. There are qualities of a chat room and an activity feed that are very different from each other. And I'm going to bring in the table of contents to the conversation also because it's at another extreme from the chat room. I've abbreviated table of contents as TOC here. One of the different qualities and ranges between a chat room, a feed, and a table of contents is how long people, your members, are going to want to interact with the material that's being shared. If it's a short-term conversation that people really aren't going to want to scroll back and find something that was shared, say, even two weeks ago, a chat room is a good place to do that. That's a more immediate type of conversation where people aren't going to be looking back and wanting to find out something that was said before. On the other end of the spectrum with a really long-term visibility is a table of contents. What is shared in that table of contents stays in the order that it was shared. You can have a bit of conversation in the comments, but that sticks around and people are always able to find it. The activity feed is in between those two. It is not as long-term or as structured or as ordered as a table of contents. Something that is shared in the activity feed eventually scrolls out of sight, but it is searchable and the host can also feature things and give them different visibility, bring them back into consciousness. It provides an intermediate term visibility for things that you want people to be, go back and reference when they're looking for them. Another consideration is the type of interaction that you're trying to create in this particular feature. Are you looking to generate more conversation or are you looking for more information to be shared? If you're heavy on the conversation, a chat feature is really easy and works really well for that. Whereas the table of contents is on the other end of the spectrum, which is really built mostly for information sharing. And the engagement and interaction is very minor and always in support of that information. An activity feed is often useful when you want to have both information and conversation happening together. 
It lets you share information in posts as well as generate conversation, nurture conversation in posts and in the comments. A chat room is good when you're looking for short-term, spontaneous type of conversation. You can think of it like you stopped into a coffee shop and see some friends and sit down and chat before you leave and other people join you coming and going. Often the engagement and interaction in an activity feed is a little bit less spontaneous and a little bit more intentional. So as opposed to a coffee shop where people walk in and just happen to be there, it's more like a virtual meeting space where people intentionally come in to share and interact about a common experience or common material. You can think of that as a community of practice where you use information shared in the activity feed and questions and interactions to encourage people to share their own ideas and collaborate and grow and transform together. You can also think of an activity feed as a bulletin board where announcements are shared and ideas are posted, say with sticky notes, by members and by the hosts. One of the reasons for exploring your current options rather than just doing what you've always done is because you might find out there's something new you can do that's even better. If you put your roast into one pan, you've got room in the oven for scalloped potatoes too. In a mighty network, you can have multiple features inside the same space. You can set up a challenge that has a table of contents to store those ordered steps that you want people to take. That's a great, great sweet spot for table of contents. And then pair that with a chat room for people to do the short-term interacting that's involved in a challenge. There are other common combinations of these features. You might want to use an activity feed as a bulletin board for announcements and sharing by hosts and moderators only, and then have your members interact inside a chat room. You can support a community of practice by having an activity feed with both members and hosts interacting, posting, and engaging there, and then a table of contents for resources that you want to use as a, as a support for their journey through that community of practice. There are all kinds of different ways that you can combine or use these features in your Mighty Network. The important thing is to be really intentional about which you pick, be intentional about the kind of engagement that you're trying to create. Is it long-term or short-term? Are you trying to get people to be really informal? Or are you trying to get a little bit more formality about what's happening? You might even think about what devices people are using. Sometimes I find it easier to create chat messages when I'm on my phone, and if I want to do something in a more structured, ordered, formatted way, I want to come into the activity feed on my computer. Experiment, iterate, think about what works for you as a host and get feedback from your members about what works for them. I'd love to hear your ideas about how you use the activity feed and the chat, and if you use both of them together or separately. Share comments and let's talk more about what you're doing. I would really appreciate it if you like this video, and if you want to see more of them, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I also have other do-it-yourself information and support inside my free Mighty Network. There's information about how to get there in the video description. I enjoy helping hosts with their own particular situation. So if you'd like more help, reach out to me and we can talk about my small group and private support options. Enjoy your network and have a great day.